Welcome back to this channel. Watch to the end for channel shout out. Wake up, my daughter, wake up. Hello, Dr. Marcus, please I need an ambulance now, yes, it's an emergency. My daughter, no. We were all shocked when the news got to us this morning about Lisa's demise. May the Lord grant you fortitude to bear the loss. This is the third time we are hearing this fortitude to bear the loss within two years. No, I can't take this anymore, it's better for me to die, oh God, where are you? Where is your face? I'm doomed, I'm done for. All is well madam. No, it is not well. Don't deceive me, I lost three children within two years and you are telling me all is well. All is not well. God is God in everything, we can't question him. Why can't we question him? Why? Why shouldn't I question him? Tell me why. This is not normal, whom did I offend? What did I do wrong? Who is causing me sorrow? Who is killing my children? Who is causing me sorrow by killing my children? Whom did I wrong? If only you had listened to me last month and followed me to go and see the old man, Lisa wouldn't have died. Just listen to yourself, just listen to the nonsense you are spitting from your mouth, are you insinuating that I killed my own daughter? What rubbish are you spewing? You know I am not insinuating anything, they said, a stitch in time saves nine, it's high time you do something to protect your family. Alright, when are we going to see this man you talked about? Arafan or Aragon, or what's his name? Father Arican, that's his name, the fearless and mysterious one that pursues death inside the water. The one that pursues, is it Aracon Marcus? You got it right. Okay, when are we going to see him? I already spoke with him and I discussed your issue with him, and he said. You know my problem with you. You talk too much, when are we going to see him? Simple, I discussed with him and I told him how you lost two daughters within two years. Victor. You don't seem to understand me, all I am trying to do is... Victor, just tell me when we are going to see him and shut up. That's okay, don't insult me, that does not mean you should start insulting me. I told him and he said there's no need for you coming to see him that he will come here himself, since your house is being haunted. So he can chase out this evil force of darkness that are disturbing you. He's coming here. Yes, he's coming here himself. He's coming to this place. Yes. Coo, 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 car. Sir, what is the matter? What's happening? It's an odd wind that's blowing in your house. A spider webs that earthly forces use to bring tears from the eyes of men. Father Arakon Marcus, I don't understand all these things you are saying at all. My friend who sent you here didn't say you would bore me to death with poems. For example, what is 200 yards of clothes and spider webs? Like, spider webs and 200 yards of clothes or whatever, what exactly do you want to do? Let us know what we have to do. Don't be reciting poems here. Fernon, your predicament does not respond to sophistication. You better listen calmly to what I want to say. It's like feces, no one touches it, it's like the devil that you cannot sit on, it's like the wind that cannot be held, but I promise you I will get rid of all your enemies. I am the mysterious and the terrible one, I am the fire that water cannot put off, the sheer butter that the sun cannot melt. Now both of you, Go to your bedroom and sleep. This midnight, we will get to the bottom of this matter. Go inside. Yes, you said we should go inside. You were telling us to go. That is what he said. He said we should go into our room. I hope this will serve as an end to all this death. I hope so. We should go. Go. Old man, we not only want all troubles to cease, but I want to know who is behind the death of my children. They took away my essence. I'm ready to strike them where it hurts, I'm ready to take revenge. That's right Mrs. Fernon, we will not only retaliate, we will destroy them completely, we'll make an utter end of them, go now, go to bed. I want to converse with the gods, this midnight, this matter will be resolved. We should go. Yes, I want to have a meeting with the gods, this matter will be resolved this midnight, don't be bothered, go inside. Okay. If you gods are behind this matter, you'll have to back off, or what do you want? What sacrifice do you want? 
I call on you the ancient witches of the earth. You relish in dirt and evil. You are the one that kill without mercy. I'm ready to give you anything you want. Whatever it is you want, I'll give it to you. In fact, I'm ready to give you whatever it is you want. Just let there be peace in this house. Let there be rest for this home. The hands off. Keep away the monstrous spirit disturbing this family. The masquerade is missing and you're saying the women should not know about it. When the night falls, the mother will ask for her child. Meaning, we are calling for the carpenter and the woodpecker is showing up, who sent you on this mission? Who gave you this task? Even though you were sent, couldn't you refuse? That an ability could land you in trouble, that an ability could cost you a lot, that an ability to say not could cost you dearly. Power without authority could lead to doom, as though to a novice. I can't see you. Why do you speak when invisible? Why are you speaking from the shadows? Why don't you show yourself? If you're bold enough, if you have the guts, show yourself. Bacalon Baal, the Valiant One. I hail you, the mighty Bacalon Baal. Are you the one behind this? No, I'm not, but I'm the mountain blocking the way. Darling, wake up. What is it? I've been hearing some voices for a while now. Voices? It seems as if Father Aracon Marcus is having a heated argument with someone downstairs. It's been going on for over 20 minutes now, and in fact, I have not been able to sleep since we came in. I hope the children didn't go downstairs, let me go and find out. What are you doing? Calm down, where do you think you are going now? Let me go and check on the children. Put that aside, you ought to remember how your father died. I remember, what does that have to do with the matter on ground? You are all crazy in your household. Your father shivered till he died, I dealt severely with him. When he delivered Sarah from her bondage without performing any ritual or making any sacrifice. Am I saying I won't make any sacrifice? I'm ready to offer a sacrifice. There's nothing you request for that I won't give you. Shut it, Aracon Marcus. This is not something you can be involved in. It's just not your business. You want to be missing in action, right? Do you want to be a victim of this battle? Pull back. The matter at hand does not require rituals or sacrifices. I, Bacalon, the Valiant One, the Fearless One, the Great One, the Strong One. Aracon Marcus, the Stubborn One like a lunatic, if you don't want to die a shameful death like your father. Hands off and return to your duty post. Don't toy with me Aracon Marcus. You know me, you know that I'm merciless, I am ruthless beyond measure, my ruthlessness is without equal. I am hotter than fire and I can end you in an instant, Aracon Marcus, if you don't want to be spanked by a monkey. If you don't want a cobra to bite your heel, if you don't want an owl to pluck out your eyes, hands up. Ah, return to your duty post. This matter is not your business, Aracon Marcus, it is beyond your jurisdiction. Let's go and check what is happening. Okay. Why is he just looking like that? Maybe he has gone insane. Weird, he is just looking at the armchair, but there is no one there. That's what I am saying. I've been insulted so I must retaliate. I've been demeaned so I must take my pound of flesh. Aracon Marcus, if you don't want to become mincemeat. Aracon Marcus, speak on. If you don't want to become a toast, if you don't want to become destitute, hands off. Return to your base. Bacalon, you see, please don't be angry with me. Give me two minutes to pack my luggage. I'll return to my base. Time to go home. I mustn't die like a nobody. Never. Home. Here I come. What happened? Whom were you talking with? What happened, sir? We could hear you talking with someone from our room. Who was it? Whom was I talking with? You are the only one here. What happened? What did you hear? I heard that you wanted to return to your Juvial, I wondered why you would want to return when you only got here. I'm returning to Juvial Apennizal. What? Yes. Why? You've not done what you were brought here to do, you've not done your work here, that's not our agreement. Look here, our agreement matter less here, this is the money you gave me, have it. I was told you're very powerful, and that you'd get to the bottom of what killed our children, and the forces disturbing us every day in this house. I know that a valiant man cannot afford to be a coward, 
Aren't you a brave man? How dare you? Stomach aches kill guinea fowls. Hiccups kills deers. Hold on. Curses kill thieves. Listen up. Hold on. If you say that again, I'll slap you and you'll become lame. I'm sorry, don't be angry, it's just that I heard you are powerful. Hold it. I'm a traditional physician. I don't lift curses from people to myself. Listen, we can only try to solve this problem because we are alive. Once death is involved, it will claim all concerned. But I don't know what this is all about. We're not fighting with you. You came here to work for us and we were told that you were powerful enough to handle it. Now, you say you're leaving and it's already 3 a.m. You won't be allowed out of the estate gate. The security officials won't allow you. Moreover, where will you say you're coming from? Leave that. I can handle myself. No matter how dark, the snake walks around freely. My mysterious cloth, appear. What exactly is the problem? Why the rush? All of a sudden, everything just changed. Sir, he's gone. What could have caused his sudden disappearance? He was so eager to leave, everything just changed. Within few minutes, everything just changed. Oh my god. Patty. Yes, dad. I want you to take care of your brother very well. That was why I told you not to go to school today. If there's any emergency, you call your mum. I may not be able to pick my call because I have a meeting at the presidency. Dorian, how are you feeling? Try and eat, and take your drugs, okay. I'll be back in the evening. Okay, sir. Take care of him, okay. Okay, daddy, have a great day. Alright, you too, bye. Few hours later. Oh, Victor, how are you? I'm fine, where is Dorian? He is over there. Victor, what's up my guy? How are you doing? Victor. You didn't come to school today, what happened? Hope you're fine. I was almost crying this afternoon when the biology teacher gave us a test to write, 20 marks just like that. I'll explain to him when I get to school, worst case scenario, my dad will speak with him. He can't tell my dad that he won't allow me write the test. What happened? Did you check the WhatsApp message I sent you? My bad, I've not checked my phone since morning. Ah, that dream again. I'm afraid that, I may die anytime soon, three of my siblings are gone within two years, maybe I'm the next. Don't talk like that Dorian, don't talk like that, you were not patient enough when I was trying to tell you some things last week. You see, there are some mysteries in this world that we will never get to understand if we do not find God. What do you mean? My dad and your dad were best of friends before he died mysteriously, while he was sleeping, you know that my sister and brother are dead too. Only my mum and I are still alive. I remember all these stories, but why are you bringing them up now? What has that got to do with my present situation? A lot, Dorian, a lot. It was when I was in the hospital and someone came to pray for the sick, he laid hands on me and a live lizard dropped from my body physically. Seriously? Yes. A live lizard. That's weird. But why didn't you tell me this part of the story? Well, I've been wanting to tell you this since but you've refused to give me audience. Since the news of my new life in Christ broke out to you, you even said I should not come near you anymore. Yes, I was mad at you when Sarah said you walked up to her that you're no longer her boyfriend. That you have now become born again or something, she even said you called her a sinner. Dorian, I gave my life to Jesus in that hospital and got filled with the Holy Spirit that same day. Ever since then, the strange dreams are gone, I introduced Jesus to my mum and she accepted, Dorian. This is the secret that can solve all mysteries, if you don't know it, I'm afraid you don't know anything. Was that why you abandoned Sarah? She was crying for three days, that girl almost committed suicide because of you. You see Dorian, I cannot trade the victory and freedom I now have in Christ with the pleasures of sin. The Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature, old things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. Hmm, you're now sounding like a pastor, so Pastor Victor sir, why have you come? Well, I'm just a brother, I'm not a pastor, but to answer your question, I came here firstly to check up on a friend that didn't come to school today. And most importantly, to reconcile with you, and to reconcile you to Jesus, so that the yoke of sin and death might be broken in your life. Victor, you're speaking so confidently, do you know how many years we have been under siege in this house? Do you know all the things my parents have done to set us free? See, my dad just returned from a trip to India. And he came back with a lot of stuff for protection. Are you now protected? Victor, truthfully, the forces multiplied, my dad even went to bring one fetish priest that ran away in the middle of the night. I'm so sure it's those forces that chased him away, Victor, I'm afraid to die, I don't want to die, I'm ready to do anything to stay alive, anything. 
Please can you help me? Are you ready to give your life to Christ? That is the only solution I know. The answer to humanity, H died so we may live, are you ready? I'm ready. Thank you Jesus, let me pray with you. I want you to ask God for forgiveness, ask him to forgive you all your sins. Ask him to have mercy on you. Have mercy on me Lord, forgive me Lord. Have mercy on me Lord. The Bible says, with the heart, we believe unto righteousness, but with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Now repeat after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I come to you today. I believe you died for my sins. I believe you died for my sins. And arose the third day. And arose the third day. Come into my heart today. Come into my heart today. As my personal Lord and Savior. As my personal Lord and Savior. As my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. You're welcome to the family of faith. He that watched over Israel does not sleep nor slumber. She now belongs to me. You're not permitted to touch her. Holy Spirit we need your help, O God we ask for your help, we ask O God in the name of Jesus, we receive strength. We receive the power of God in the name of Jesus, the power of God in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit we need you, we need the power of God in the name of Jesus. Let me silence him. You are not permitted to touch this one also, I am now in charge of his safety. I'm sorry sir, don't be angry with me, I am leaving. Holy Spirit, we need your help in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask for your help. Holy Spirit, we need your help. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Darling. Yes. What happened? What is it? What happened? Ah. Oh. What happened? Tell me. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. In Jesus' name. What happened? Come in. So when am I getting my own Bible? Yes, congratulations to us. Congratulations to us. Yes, because we both gave our lives to Christ that day. Really? Yes, I actually heard all of Victor's preaching. I even said the prayer with you. So tell Victor to get me my own Bible. By the way, I'm going to be joining you guys for tonight's online prayers. Really? I'm going to be joining you guys. For real? Yes. Hello Victor, guess what just happened, you won't believe it. You guys don't understand what I'm talking about. Yesterday night's slap was very terrible, see, I couldn't go out this morning, I need your help. I need protection. How are you guys doing it? Fernon, I'll speak for myself and Mr. Fred will speak for himself, what makes you think I can protect you? See, political office in this country is like that, all of us facing different problems because of what we did to secure the positions and offices we got now. Yours is even better, far far better, have you ever wondered or asked me why I have never removed my cap for once? Sure, I thought it's your brand. I even wonder, I thought that was your trademark. Brand, trademark. Which brand, please? I think everybody has this thing they put on their head. Forget it, see? Between the three of us, I have a big incurable sore at the center of my head. What? Sometimes I even pick maggots from there. What? Like in numbers, that is the price I have to pay to remain in office, and to keep the money coming. And that's my immunity against all prosecutions, no matter what I steal, can you hear me? No matter, no one can arrest me, not even one person like this. Ah, oh, do you want to see it? No. Honestly, as for me, I am sick and tired of this ruling class nonsense, when my dad rigged me into winning the senatorial seat. You are still young, everything is still going smoothly for you. Fernand, far from it, do you know I have to sacrifice a girl monthly? To maintain my political relevance. Really? That was the oath I was to swear. How do you get them? I have to offer them money in exchange for their bodies, in just one time sex within a month, they drop dead. Oh god, this is really serious, where do we go for help now? I'm tired of money in position without peace. So, it's true that some wealth have rotten sources. I'm in a real fix here, where do I go to for help? I'm getting tired of money without peace. I did not come here to beg for money sir. 
God sent me to tell you that you need to repent and surrender your heart to Jesus, he said I should tell you that those who steal public funds will always have problems that money cannot solve. He said I should tell you that it is only his blessing that makes a man rich without adding any sorrow, God is asking for your life. He said you should give your life to him. Sir, Raphael, do you know you are a big fool? Do you know that you are a big fool for allowing this stupid dirty bag to enter my house? You know I told you the last time he came that I don't want this stupid boy in my house again, and you dare open the door for him. I told you I'm not interested in whatever he's saying, I don't want to buy whatever he's selling, I don't want him in my house again. I'm sorry sir, the next time this guy enters my house, your job is done, do you understand me? Yes sir, now, get this dirty boy out of my presence. I'm sorry sir, please sir, go out. Okay, thank you. He said I should tell you that those who steal public funds, will always have problems that money cannot solve, problem that money cannot solve. That young man is right, anyone who steals public funds will always have problems that money cannot solve, seriously, I'm trapped. Fernon, you're in a serious problem, who will save me? Save us madam, there is fire in this house, there's no peace, we are haunted, there's no week that passes without any attack. I have lost three children within two years. I am Soraya, the great and omnipotent, I can do all things though the power that lives in me, weep no more daughter. Today is the end to all your problems, I am the custodian of peace and I distribute it to whomever calls for my help. Do not worry, Bacalon Ball, are you the one behind this predicament? Yes. Wow, no way. Yes it is me, Soraya, return to your palace under the sea at once, this matter is none of your business. I've only come to claim what is mine. My mission here must be accomplished, Soraya, there's nothing you can do about it. No way, what will it take? Are you a novice, Soraya, we can't be discussing this before the uninitiated. It's not right, let me have a word with you. Okay, where? In the room of these fools. Honorable and Mrs. Fernand, please stay here, I need to quickly attend to a meeting, you see, it's all about your problems. I'm looking for how to get the solution to your problem, do not leave this sitting room, I repeat, do not leave this sitting room. I'll be back. Soraya, mind only your business, this matter does not concern you, neither does it requires any ritual or sacrifice. But Bacalon Ball, why are tormenting them? Three children in two years, why? Fernon made a covenant with me and we made oaths with them, and you know what that means. Soraya. What? A covenant? And you swore oaths on it? Yes. What sort of a covenant? A temporary or a permanent one? A permanent one of course, an unbreakable covenant, a blood covenant. That's it then, I take my hands off the case, I wash my hands off this matter, Bacalon Ball. Yes. Kudos to you for a job well done, you know, I heard about your promotion at the Himalayan Coven, congratulations. Thank you. I hope to see you at the Global Conference of the Dark Kingdom next month at New Della. I am particularly looking forward to this because of the theme the Great One wants us to deliberate upon. Unleashing the spirit of error, terror and horror upon the Church and humanity, see you there. Honorable and Mrs. Fernand, I am sorry we're going to have to reschedule this meeting to a more convenient time. Really? Yes, I have to leave immediately, Honorable Fernand, I know you know what I know that no one knows except those who know, have a good day. Ah. Uh, wow. Darling. Yes. Please tell me if you know about what is going on, please. Tell you what, no tell you what, what kind of terrible question is that, I can't believe you, what kind of terrible accusations is that? It is extremely baseless, it is stupid and it is ignorant. Is it something that pleases me that I lost three children within two years? How can I have the solution to our problem and keep quiet about it? No tell me, and I told you, I said let me handle this thing. You said you found someone online that can help us, see what your online research has brought us. No see, it couldn't have been me she was talking to, never, maybe it was that spirit she was talking to when she first disappeared. It couldn't have been me. Good to see you, it's a surprise to see you. It indeed is, the king sent us to you, yes, King Amos of this kingdom. Well, I'm just so grateful, the king himself, the second in command to the gods, the great king.
Yes. The king should have sent for me himself instead of asking you people to come down here. Send for you himself. You're an influential person. Our king is a good man. He doesn't want to bother you. And he knows that you're a very busy person. That is why he decided to send us to you. Thank you very much. Before we deliver the king's message, I think I should introduce myself. I am the high chief of this kingdom. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. Unfortunately my wife is not at home, you know, she would have prepared pounded yam and stew with plenty, bush meat. Please, we can always come back for our own, but I will come back as a friend and not as a chief. Now back to the king's message, the office of chiefs of this kingdom and the king himself thought of what you're doing in this town. And we have decided to make you a high chief in this kingdom, that is the message of the king. Our king. What a pity. These ones don't know that some wealth comes from rotten sources, they're just interested in my money. What I need now is deliverance not promotion. Unfortunately we live in a society that no one recognizes you if you don't have money. A rich man has many friends, none will be left if he dies. Mummy, since that day I've not had any nightmares in this house apart from one time like that I saw a masquerade appear on the wall. But then I shouted the name of Jesus and immediately, he disappeared. Really? Yes, that name is very powerful, I wish I had known since, honestly. Mummy, you need to give your heart to Jesus Christ, because he's the way, the truth and the life, for me, it's not just the bad dreams that stopped. You and Dad have no idea of the things I was into, drugs, parties, girls and more. Jesus Christ delivered me and set me completely free. Really? Mummy, you need to give your heart to Jesus. Give my life to Jesus. Yes Mummy please. Can he be here by tomorrow? I should be home after 8 p.m. Three days, in this house. That's serious, all right, I'll be expecting you. This is serious, three days. Mummy, you just have to repent from your heart and say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I come to you today. Forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. And write my name in the book of life. And write my name in the book of life. Save me today. Save me today. And forever. And forever. Make me your child today. Make me your child today. And forevermore. And forevermore. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you Jesus. I am Prophet Clement, the end time prophet who lives on the mountain of this village. I only come down from the mountain twice in a year to wage war against demons and forces of darkness, honorable, you know what. Your house is the first place I am visiting this year. Hey, Ka, Da, Sef, Da. You are so favored and very lucky indeed. Okay, thank you so much Prophet, the problem we are facing. Hold it, Y-H-O, Ho, Ka, Da, La. You don't need to tell me the problem you are facing, before now, I have known them and I've conquered them for you. Yes Honorable, nothing is hidden from me, I am God's original servant, and for your information, I'm a major prophet. Okay Prophet, so what do we do now? Three days, fasting starts tomorrow, tomorrow morning, prepare my room and also prepare a sumptuous and delicious meal for me to eat. Tonight as a servant of God. Honorable. Yes. We are going to hack down all your enemies with pain. No, I can't prepare food for a fake prophet. But Mummy, how do you know that is a fake prophet? He might be a genuine man of God, you know. Dorian, I know fake prophets. In fact, this is not the first time I'm meeting a fake prophet. This man is not a man of God, he's a false prophet dot and I'm not going to cook for him. Mummy, I have an idea, let's cook the food together and then we'll pray over it, and plead the blood of Jesus on it, what about that? That actually makes sense. Let me eat this food, I will enjoy myself today. Bacalon Baal. If you put that food in your mouth, you will choke on it to death. Prophet thief, a shameless thief, a servant to the devil, woe to your lineage. Can we pray that God will destroy and frustrate all the plans of the devil and send confusion into the camp of the wicked in the name of Jesus? We call on you Father, deliver us in the name of Jesus. Let me check on the children. Put off the light on your way out. Father in the name of Jesus, I pray that my family is secure in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bacalon Baal. Have I not warned you never to interfere in matters that do not concern you? 
Yes, Bacalon Baal, I know it is a matter that I didn't have solution to even before I came here, but allow me to do this work, Bacalon Baal. My seven children are at home, I've not paid their school fees this year, yes, they're all at home with their mothers as I'm talking to you. Please Bacalon, allow me to collect the money for this work and I will go, in fact, I am ready to add to their afflictions if that is what you want. Bacalon please. No way, the man we are talking about does not have up to three days to live, you are leaving now. And you must leave now if you don't want me to vent my spleen on you. Put down that food in your hand now. Okay, okay, can you allow me to eat this me? I'm starving, I'm really starving. I backle on Baal, the valiant one, the fearless one. If you say one more thing you will go blind and deaf at the same time. Backle on the valiant one, the fearless one, I'm very sorry, I was only being naive. Honorable, I'm leaving, brother Clement is leaving. I'm no longer a prophet, Brother Clement is leaving, Honorable. My Father, my God, deliver us in the name of Jesus. Deliver us in the name of Jesus, deliver us in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, sir. I'm so sorry for your plight, I knew your husband, he was a very good man, I understand the school fees part, so please drop your account with Samson at the gate. By next week, I will send the school fees to you. Thank you so much sir, I really appreciate sir, the problem is that tomorrow is her final exam, the school said if anyone does not pay, she'll not be allowed to write the exam, please sir. There's plenty money in this house, but you have labored so much on this your daughter, and I won't want you to use the type of money I have now to pay your daughter's school fees. It's dangerous, you may not understand what I'm doing now, but I promise you, it will be sorted, I will send the school fees next week, when my salary is paid. In the meantime, I will call the school tomorrow, she will be allowed to write the exam. Thank you sir, God bless you sir. You're welcome, the owner of the school is one of my boys. Thank you sir, God bless you. We both are on a strange place, I ate what you told me to eat, I ate from an ancestral gourd at the shrine of Eragon. I ate it, I slept in a coffin for three days without eating or sleeping. What have I not done that you asked me to do? Back along, you told me to sleep naked at the graveyard, I did it, why do you want to empty my house? Why are you killing my children? Of what use is wealth and riches without peace of mind? The price, everything has a price, to get the price, you need to pay the price, and the price you have to pay to contest for the governorship election of this state is greater than what you got here. To retain your goals will cost you some pain, your desires will cost you a lot, you'll soon get your desires, you'll soon get what you wish. I told you I don't want to become governor, do I have to? I told you I don't want to become governor, is it by force? Keep quiet and listen to me. You must be interested, you must, you are the only man in this state that understands our terrain. And will allow us carry out our activities in the dark world without any hindrance, Fernon, with you sitting at the highest position in this state. We are sure of our monthly allowance of blood through accident due to bad roads, assassinations and other rituals, now, tell me, Fernon. Who else in this state can do that for us? Apart from you, who else? Who else can get us the blood of babies to drink every month? Senator Johnson is more qualified than myself, let him do it, he has everything it takes to take our state to abundant prosperity. It is not about qualification, can't you get it? Fernon. It is about the man with the heart of stone, a man who will pay obeisance to us. And do our bidding no matter what people say, a man who will turn a deaf ears to the loud cries of the citizens. Johnson's allegiance is to the God of heaven and to the common man on the streets, that is not what we want Fernon. We want a heartless soul like you. Is that the reason you keep slapping me every night, that you're bent on paralyzing me at all cost? You have refused to allow me take your wife and all your children as sacrifices for the coming elections. I have given you permission to take my wife and my children, just leave me alone, I don't want to die now. It's like you can't hear what I'm saying, I know what you're doing, I have come several times to take them but there is a strange power that is stopping me from taking them. You have shielded them with a strange power. Strange power, I don't know what you are talking about. Of course you do Fernon, you do, there is a man in white with a flaming sword in this house, that is stopping me from taking your wife and all your children. Fernon, this man must leave your house, if you don't tell him to leave, 
You die in three days' time. What? Don't dare me, Fernon. Strange man in white. Please give me a few days. Give me a few days. I will make them accessible to you. Please give me some more time. The time cannot be extended. If I don't get at least one of them, you die in three days' time. By the way, when last did you sleep with your secret wife? Kissa, the one with an animal navel. I still did yesterday at the Himalayas. Good. Very good. No ritual will be accepted if you miss any day like you did last week. Every Tuesday and Friday must not pass by without you sleeping with Kissa, the one with an animal's navel. Because, she holds the key to your prosperity. Father Lord, deliver us in the name of Jesus, save us in the name of Jesus. Hold it, so, you're the ones fomenting trouble in this house, right? Dorian Mum, you should know better, you should know better, what has been happening here. You still have the guts to invite the gate man inside my house. Daddy, Jesus has stepped into this house and he has made all the difference. All of our bad dreams and nightmares, they've all gone. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your dirty mouth. All your bad dreams have gone. Mine has increased. Okay. Is that not what happened? What Dorian is just trying to. My friend shut up. If you don't shut up there, if I descend on you, it would seem as if a caterpillar has descended on you. Are you okay? All of you, go into room right now. Are you deaf? Raphael, get out. Yes sir. So, you're the ones causing issues, this is what you've been doing in this house. You've been causing all manners of trouble, all manners of nonsense in this house, right? But why are you shouting at us, darling? How is our simple prayer endangering your life? And when has it become a crime to pray to God? After all, we've done several rituals in this house and called different people to help us and nothing has worked. So, why can't we allow Jesus? Why can't we call on Jesus to help us? So you're calling Jesus, right? Is it not the same Jesus that Prophet Clement called in this house? And he couldn't even finish the food we prepared for him before running out of this house. No, it's not the same Jesus, and that man is not a man of God, he's a fake prophet. He is not from God, oh I see. Yes. Will you please go inside the room before you continue to endanger my life? Go everybody, to your rooms now, immediately. Okay. Nonsense, all of them gathered there shouting spitting out nonsense, causing problems up and down. What, who are you? And how did you get in here? I am Bacalon, Bacalon the Valiant One, I am the Great One, the Fearless One, I am the Landlord of this house, and the Priest of this home. He has given me permission to do whatever I like in this house, sealed with the covenant of blood. So little boy, do not ask me stupid questions. Interesting. For your information, my father may be the priest of this house, but I'm the priest of this room, and you're not permitted to do anything in this place. You lack respect and common sense, if not, you would have known that you were not supposed to come in here without permission. If you don't leave this place now the same way you came in, I'm going to call down the fire on your head in the name of Jesus. Stop, man of God. We are just having a normal conversation and you want to call down fire. Come on, it's not that serious. Is that what your Bible taught you? Did your Bible not say you should love your enemy? You are not an enemy, you are a demon. Get out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What happened? I saw something that looks like a masquerade over there. A masquerade? Yes, but then I called Jesus and it disappeared. It was also in my room. It was in your room? Yes, Jesus is in charge, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it and they are safe. No one can bring any charge against the elect of God, the one that watches over us does not sleep or slumber. Yes. Thank you Jesus. Lord, Father God, I come to you tonight, Father I call upon your name because you are the mighty one in battles, Lord I call your name, O oh God. I am going to kill her today. Did I not warn you never to disturb my children? It is about time you eat your own flesh and be drunk with your own blood as unto a sweet wine. I'm sorry sir, I will never do that again. I will never try that again. Darling, what is happening to you? Darling. Darling, my husband. Mummy, please wait. 
You spirit of Babylon and you spirit of death, come out in the name of Jesus. What? What are you all staring at? What are you looking at? Am I a television? What is your problem? Everybody go back to your room. Are you deaf? Go back to your room, get out. Look at the way they are staring at me, am I a television? Nonsense. I'm so famished. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Steve, longest time Fernon. No, this must be a wrong number, because the only Steve that I know, does not stay in this country. Oh yes, the only Steve you know lives in Brazil, right. What if I tell you that he came into town yesterday and he wants to see you? Steve, is that you? Steve Catastrophe, I knew it, that voice, I can't miss that voice, Steve, when did you arrive? Where are you? Let me come and pick you. Don't worry, I'll be putting up in your house tonight, that is if you don't mind. You didn't even ask for my address, how will you get to my house? Come on, big shot politician, who doesn't know where you big boy live in this town. Come on, just send me the Google map so that I don't miss the exact house. Okay, and this is my fartip number. Okay, no problem, I'll do that right away, right away, Steve Catastrophe. Darling, Steve is coming to our house, he wants to spend the night. Really, Steve? That your crime mate in the university you always talk about? I can't believe you remember. Coming to spend the night in the house. 30 years ago. I hope he will not bring his catastrophe into his house. Come on, not at all. You are welcome to my house. Thank you so much. You are welcome, sir. Thank you, madam. You are welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you so much, children. Steve, who are you? I'm not here to answer questions, I've come to let you know why you are here at this time, the message is urgent, Steve. But I'm here to visit an old friend, that's all. No, you are here to fight a battle and to set the captives free, it is very urgent, so you can't afford to sleep tonight. Oh gosh, but I'm tired, I've been out all day attending meetings on this scholarship award stuff, please can't I sleep just a little bit, please. No problem, if you insist. Thank you. Just that by the time you wake up your friend would have been dead. I reject it in Jesus' name. Good confession that lacks power without prayer, God does nothing except in answer to prayers, if you don't invest in prayer now, there will be a harvest of sorrow and death. That will befall this family, all times are not equal, do you know that what the Bible says in Proverb 26, 2? Proverbs 26 verse 2, sorry I can't remember now. Okay, like a fleeting sparrow, like a flying swallow, so a curse without cause shall not alight. Okay, so what has that got to do with what you want me to do? A curse without cause shall not alight, but this family is under a curse with a cause, and it has alighted heavily on them. That's the music they are dancing to at the moment, three children have died within the space of two years already. Ah, and your friend, Fernon is the next. What? He dies tonight if you do nothing, I brought you all the way from Brazil to stop this death, and in answer to the prayers of his wife, his two children and his gateman. This is very serious, so what do I do? You and Fernon raped many girls in the campus as cult boys in your university days, you, however have received forgiveness when you repented and asked Jesus to show you mercy. And to be your lord and saviour, but your friend has not, in fact, he has become worse, he sacrificed three girls on the altar of the devil to become a member of the house of representative. Oh my goodness, not only that, he drank human blood for seven days and slept inside a coffin for three days and three nights. Oh my, not only that, he has a spirit wife that he sleeps with twice a week to renew his covenant. Oh my goodness, this is serious. He made a covenant with a spirit being called Bacalon Baal to do anything at any time with his family, he has surrendered his priesthood to that evil spirit. By now, all his children and wife ought to have been sacrificed to qualify him to contest and win the next governorship election in his state. Not to worry, they are all under my care now, your friend lives by covenants and sacrifices. So what do you want me to do now? Listen let me tell you, your friend's hands is full of blood, and many people have cursed him because of his wickedness. He has built houses he cannot live in because he wants to escape death, where you are at the moment is a rented apartment. He has stolen money from the public, money for schools, roads, hospital and many more, 
More than 300,000 people have died directly and indirectly. Because of his greed and love for money, yet, your friend is never tired of stealing. This is a very serious matter. Many of the people who have suffered through his wickedness have laid curses on him in their pains, those curses and speaking and raging. The covenant he made with Bacalon Baal is also speaking. Bacalon, Jesus have mercy, Lord let your mercy prevail over judgment. Steve, your prayer is the only fuel that will move the vehicle of mercy to Fernon, remember, God does nothing except in answer to prayers. Bacalon. Darling, there's a knock at the door. Who is it? It's Steve, I need to see you, it's very urgent. Firstly, I want to apologize for, you know, waking you up at this dead of the night, I'm sorry. It's okay, no problem, I hope all is well Steve. I didn't know you had lost three children in the space of two years. I'm very sorry to hear about that. How did you know that? Don't worry about that, now tell, who is Bacalon? Who told you? Don't mention that name please, because he might suddenly appear here, please, how did you know? Who told you? Fernon, you have shed so much blood, and now, they're returning to haunt you, you have killed and sacrificed so many human beings. Just to secure your seat in the House of Representative, come on Fernon, you slept in a coffin for three days and three nights. Jeez. And now, Bacalon is haunting you, pursuing you because he cannot lay his hands upon your wife and your children. I mean, what is the essence of great wealth without peace of mind? Without rest, tell me, why did you decide, why did you choose to sacrifice your tomorrow just because of today? My friend, why? At this junction I need your help, it's true, everything you said about me is true and even more, but I'm shocked at this information that you have. You're not supposed to have this information, you're different from the Steve I used to know back then on campus. You know back then on campus we did many terrible things together, we destroyed, we raped, we did many bad things. But the words that are coming out of your mouth now shows me that you are a very different Stephen to that one, because for you to know the things you know, shows me that you're in possession of a greater power than I have, and I need that power, I need that power to be able to defeat my enemies, it's a terrible world out there. I need to be fortified, I need a very strong power to be able to get rid of Bacalon. No, you don't need power, what you need is Jesus Christ in your life, and when you have him in your life, then you have access to unlimited power. Fernon, the same Jesus saved me, he forgave me and he delivered me completely, I remember that day just as if it was yesterday. It was a young lady, beautiful young lady that I pursued to the church in Brazil, but this young lady carried fire in her life, all the demons in me screamed and jumped out. The day I mistakenly touched her, I was electrocuted by the power flowing through her, I was rolling on the floor screaming like a madman. She was the one that God used to lead me to Christ. A young girl. Yes. This is serious, Steve, you mean I can be delivered? Oh sure, absolutely, you know what you're going to do now. I want you to go upstairs, call your wife and children and bring them here. I should bring my family. Yeah, go. What, what effrontery, so you think you can just walk away from me like that? You must be really drunk and out of your mind. The covenant you made with me is of blood and not water, it's a really strong and unbreakable covenant nothing less. Do you think you're successful by chance? You're spending money like water and you think it is ordinary. You must be really out of your mind. Bacalon, leave me alone. Take everything that belongs to you in this house and leave me. I am no longer interested in our relationship, I said, I'm no longer interested. You must be crazy Fernon. After I pulled you out of dire straits, now you want to pull the plug. You didn't want to languish in poverty. So, I brought you to a place of comfort, you want to turn back, you dare not, you're in over your head in this matter. You've sown the wind and you must reap the whirlwind, you're in serious trouble, Fernon you are in serious problem. Ah. Let's take him downstairs. Okay. The devil is a liar, brethren we have to pray, it is obvious this is a spiritual warfare, we're gonna lift up our voices in worship to the Lord. Let us sing this song, there is power might in the blood, power in the blood. Mr. Stephen. What is it? 
He is bleeding, let's take him to the hospital. Madam, this is not a hospital issue, okay. This is a spiritual warfare, stethoscope cannot detect demons. Brethren, we're gonna pray, the Bible says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony, we're gonna begin to plead the blood of Jesus now. Stop, just stop it, stop calling that name and that blood, Fernon and I have an agreement, we have a covenant, he willingly walked into it. We gave him what he wanted in exchange for his soul, so just leave me alone. Will you shut up, you foul demon from hell, I command you now in the name of Jesus. Man of God, why are you disturbing me? Why do you want to disgrace me? Why do you want to chase me out of my house? I have legal ground here, so just leave me alone, excuse me sir, am I disturbing you? Don't disturb me. You spirit of Bacalon, nobody here is interested in engaging in any conversation with you, we stand on the authority of the word of God. And right now we command you, we give you an order in the name of Jesus, get out, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your head O ye gate, be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory may come in, and who is this King of glory? He is the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battles. And I said, Who is the King of glory? The Lord Almighty, He is the King of glory, therefore I command you foul spirit called Bacalon, get out of this house in the name of Jesus. Get out now. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus, we give you all the praise and the glory in the name of Jesus Christ we prayed. As we were praying, I saw myself and Mr. Stephen in a house that looks like a shrine and that spirit of Bacalon was also there. And as we kept praying, I saw that angel appeared with a sword, and then that Bacalon started to spin and he just disappeared with all his properties. He disappeared. Yes, he disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, I didn't see anything, but that is an indication that the battle is won, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That means that the altar of the kingdom of darkness in this house has been pulled down. Amen. What happened? I just discovered that I feel lighter and there's a joy within me. What happened to me? Thank you, Jesus. So my fellow brother and sisters in Christ, your daddy is also a brother in Christ now. Hallelujah. Yes, we have to give all thanks to God. Indeed, he's a merciful and kind God. As you can see, there is no sin he cannot forgive. We thank him. Thank you so very much, Mr. Steve, for coming into this family. Your coming has brought an end to several years of sorrow, pains and death. Thank you so much. We are grateful. My dear sister, I've got nothing to do with this. Let's give all the glory to God. Okay. He's loving. He's kind. I wish you came earlier before we lost three children. It's okay, madam. It's all right. It is well. Our God is a God of restoration. He will wipe away all your tears in Jesus' name. Amen. Fernon, that brings me to something very important we need to talk about. Okay, there's a need for you to do what we call restitution, such that all the stolen money and properties with you should be returned to the government. Because when people begin to know that you're now born again, there's a need for them to know that if a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away and all things have become new, the Lord will teach us how to go about it. Yeah, amen, but how are we going to cover our faces? The shame will be too much, our opponent will use it against us in our subsequent campaign. Leave shame alone my dear, as it is now, I'm ready to shame shame itself. Steve, I'm ready to lose everything to Jesus, just give everything, give my all, if I had died in my sins, I would have lost everything, so what am I even holding on to? I've never felt this way before in my entire life, so much peace, so much calm, so much joy, I'm not ready to have any money that God has not given me. If I can't practice politics with Jesus, let politics go. Well, that's the spirit, my brother, that is the spirit, then the Bible says godliness with contentment is great gain, it's said for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we're gonna take nothing out of it. That is in the Bible. Yeah. Where is it in the Bible? That should be 1 Timothy 6 verse 6, my own conversion experience was very tough. Really? Very serious, as a matter of fact, I was in prison for two years. Really? Yeah, by the time I came out to confess and return all the stolen goods and properties, I had to face the law, although, fortunately, the two years term was reduced to three months. 
But I still went through it, all for Jesus, and the lady that I told you led me to Christ, she was a very great help to me, we thank God for everything. Yes, who is it? Boss, there's a woman at the gate with her daughter. Let her stay with you, you can see we have a guest here. Okay ma'am, a woman, has she been here before? Yes boss, you remember that woman that came with her daughter the other day, sir? Oh, it must be that widow that wanted to pay her daughter's school fees, please let her in. Okay, I wonder what she wants. I still want to hear that your conversion story. It will be very interesting. Alright, no problem. We have come to say thank you sir, may God bless you. Amen, to God be the glory. Favor did her exam and she passed very well, in fact she was the best graduating student. All glory to God, so now that she's finished her exam, what's the next step? So we can know how to help. She actually applied for a scholarship in Brazil and she has been shortlisted for an interview next week Tuesday, please, pray for us sir. There are five on the list and they're giving scholarships to just three of them. Well, don't worry, we'll keep praying that God will take control. Amen, God will do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Sorry to interrupt your discussion with your guests, sorry madam, which country did you say your daughter applied to? Brazil sir, she wants to study mechanical engineering. That's nice, which foundation did you say she applied to? What's the name? I don't know sir. It's alright, but please could you let your daughter talk for herself? Okay sir. Young lady, what is the name of the organization or whatever? Stephen Partners Scholarship Foundation, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Alright, just a minute, please, what is your name? Is it Favor Victory Joseph or something like that? Yes sir, sir, how did you know my name? Well, you are speaking with Steve, the senior partner of the Scholarship Foundation. Wow. So, I think it's safe to say you don't need to go for any interview from this place, okay? You just got yourself a scholarship. Thank you sir, thank you so much sir, God bless you. Thank you so much sir, Jesus I thank you, Lord I thank you. It's alright, my dear friend, thank you so very much. Welcome, you are becoming a prophet already, your prayers just got answered. Thank you so much sir, thank you. You are welcome, maybe you just wait outside for us, okay? Yes sir, thank you so much sir. Please don't go, because you'd need to follow me to the office from here, okay? Just wait for us. Okay sir, thank you so much. Can you imagine? See the way God works. Thank you so much. We thank God, but please, if you don't mind Fernon, I'd like you to go out with me okay, to the office, there are still a lot of things we need to talk about, okay? No problem, I have nothing doing today and tomorrow, so that won't be a problem. As I was talking with that woman, I had a very strong impression in my mind that your entire family ought to relocate to Brazil for some time. While all this dies down. What do you think? Daddy, I actually don't mind, if you ask me. Patty, you and your obsession with foreign countries. Why not? You brought in the man in white. You chased me out of my house. My own house. Our path was based on blood deals. Now you've made me homeless. Roaming the forest like an animal. You asked for riches and wealth. I gave them to you. I handed the ancient wealth to you. Of what use is it for you to return the money that another man will eventually steal? Ibacalon was a non-entity. Fernon, your shame will be unquantifiable. Fernon, if you do not return to me, you will surely die. I am the owner of your soul. I did not force you to come to me. You came by the act of your will. You willingly gave yourself to me in your trying times. Mr. Fernon, I am Bacalon, the valiant one, I am the fearless one, I am the gallant one, Fernon, you can't leave. You can't leave, we took a powerful oath together, a blood convenant, we've drunk together Fernon, we have eaten together from the calabashes of universal witches. Who lives in the thickest darkness, Fernon. So shocking, that many of my colleagues have distanced themselves from me since the press conference. Well, you shouldn't be surprised, I mean, men have always loved darkness than light. Honestly, this has been a very difficult moment for the family, even the chieftaincy title has been taken away, so what next now? Honestly, I don't know. It is well, the Lord will teach us what to do. Daddy, I'm not sure we can go back to that school. The press conference you did has gone viral, it's on YouTube, on Twitter, on different blogs. Dad, why did you do it? 
It has taken me a lot of course to be here today, to make an open confession, that I honorable Fernon used my position. To steal public funds, I used my political position and my authority, the authority vested in me by the good people of this country. I used it to divert public funds into my personal account, and I've used them to acquire different properties within and outside this country. Many of you may be wondering why I'm here today and why I'm doing this, yes, it is because I have had an encounter with Jesus Christ. I've given my life to Jesus and he's now my personal Lord and Savior, he is the one who has instructed me to do this today. He instructed me to return all that I've stolen and that is what I'm doing now, by this conference, I honorable Fernon, hereby forfeit all properties gotten with illicit funds. And hand over same to the rightful owner, which is the government and the good people of this nation, all necessary papers and documents have been prepared for immediate handover to the government. I have asked God to forgive me and I thereby use this opportunity to ask for forgiveness from the good people of this nation. But having said that however, I'm ready to face whatever the court of law in this land may decide, thank you. And may God bless this nation. You are under arrest. Let's go. Bacalon, the valiant and shrewd one, the one who dared death, the one who cannot be confronted, don't be angry with me, I'm fed up with the matter. And it's a big mystery, I would be lying if I said I understood, it's a dicey situation. Keep quiet, keep quiet Nathaniel, you're spewing nonsense, foolish talk, you're incompetent, you're not fit for the job. You're incapable of handling the task, the assignment is above your pay grade, you just can't function well, can you? You have become inferior to your subordinates, there I was seated in my palace, when you brought Fernon to me. He's the one who sought my help, you sought my help. Back along, leave me alone. Leave me alone, take everything that belongs to you in this house and leave me. I am no longer interested in our relationship, I said I'm longer interested. You must be crazy Fernon, after I pulled you out of dire straits, now you want to pull the plug. You didn't want to languish in poverty, so I brought you to a place of comfort, you want to turn back, you dare not. You're over your head in this matter, you've sown the wind and you must reap the whirlwind, you've kicked the hornet's nest, you're in serious trouble. Fernon, you are in serious trouble. Fernon betrayed me. He laid his hand on the plow but looked back. He wants to have his cake and eat it too. You, Nathaniel, you watched on as things fell apart. Look here Nathaniel, you've amounted to nothing. You've been placed on a scale and found wanting. Nathaniel, you've failed to live up to your name. Now we have just six months. Six months to the elections and colossal failure is staring at us in the face. Bacalon, you know me well, you know what I'm capable of, it's compulsory I get a replacement, I Nathaniel, the eye of the gods. I, the juggernaut who conquers enemies. Shut your trap, or you mean Nathaniel, the one who utters gibberish from his big mouth, you who are scatterbrained, I trusted you. I trusted you and you betrayed my trust, now you tell me, how do I trust you again, how? Bacalon, don't give up on me, if I fail to deliver this time around, I am ready to relinquish my position as leader of People's Power Political Party, P4. I know what is at stake, and I don't care how many people dies for us to get what we want in this state. Now you are talking, Nathaniel, your word has become your bond, this is more than a deal, it is a covenant. I just showed you some tough love, now bring your hand, I am going to cut your hand a bit to bring out some blood. Blood is the foundation of this ritual. Blood is the pillar that holds this ritual. Blood is the seal of this ritual. If there is anyone or anything whatsoever that wants to be a stumbling block, leader will crush them. And showed him mercy, and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison, and the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand. All the prisoners that were in the prison, and whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand, because the Lord was with him in that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. I believe this is the story of Dad. He wasn't looking good when I went to see him yesterday, I'm afraid for his life. I still feel he shouldn't have made that open confession and the press release. Mum, I believe Dad did the right thing, restitution may be hard, restitution may be difficult, but it is scriptural. Yes, I agree that one has to apply wisdom and seek counsel to go about it, but I still believe Dad did the right thing. Hum, why do you think so? 
Well, no politician in this country has done this kind of thing before, none that I know of, I believe God wants to make a statement in the way we run politics in this country. And he's using dad to set that pace, to return what he stole is the right way to go, yes, I know that we might be suffering the consequences of this now. But I believe God will visit us very soon. Fine, he did the right thing and went to prison for it, I just don't know why daddy won't just keep quiet and save his life from all of these troubles he has kept us in. I'm sincerely tired, I'm tired of all this. Joseph refused the sexual advances of Potiphar's wife, he did the right thing and he still went to prison for it, from what we read today, God is working out the best for us. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 28, that all things work together for the good of them that love God and are called according to his purpose. I honestly do not know how this is going to work together for good for us at this moment, anyways let's pray for your dad. He still has two more years to spend in that prison and his health is already failing him. I think someone is at the door. Where do you think you're going? Sit down there, Dorian, I've always told you to find out who is at the door before you open. Who is there? Listen to me all of you, you are the great pillars on which our party, People's Power Political Party is standing on. And whatever we decide here is final, now there are two people that must be silenced permanently between now and next week. If we must win the gubernatorial election. You must be out of your mind to spew this rubbish from your mouth. Say whatever it is you like, it doesn't change the fact that my brother made me his next of kin, and you of all people should be smart enough to know the implications of that. Does that give you the right to be suggesting rubbish to me, Raymond? I am not suggesting anything out of the ordinary, I am only stating a fact that is based on our culture. A woman must marry the brother of her late husband, that is our tradition in my village, you know it. What did I just hear you say? What are you talking about Raymond? Are you going insane or something? Who is late? You and I know that my brother cannot make it out of prison alive, and when that happens, I become the legal owner of his properties. Now, this is even for you, so that you don't return to your parents' house empty-handed, why not marry me and then we will own everything together? Is that not just common sense? Raymond, get out of my house now, get out now. It's not your house, this is my brother's house and you have no right to order me out. Raymond, are you out of your mind? Thank you Mrs. Fernon for that question, meanwhile, you don't have to shout to ask, but to answer your question. I am not out of my mind, now maybe you are out of your mind for refusing such a juicy and reasonable offer. Get out of my house. Patty, you know what? We need to start praying now. Oh my goodness, this Uncle Raymond has come again with his troubles. Let's just pray. God please have mercy on us. God please intervene, let there be peace in this house. Lord, have mercy on us in this house and intervene on our behalf in Jesus' name. Intervene Lord, intervene in the name of Jesus. What's this? What's this? Let me call them. I am going to kill him, I can't take this anymore. Hello. Hello madam, hope all is well with you. Where are you? Are you fine? Which of the questions do you want me to answer? Listen madam, I just saw you in a vision in a flash right now, I saw you holding a sharp knife dripping with blood, madam are you okay? Man of God, I'm about to murder an intruder in my sitting room, I will stab him severally, I will kill him then I will go to jail. After all, my husband is already in jail. I am hanging up. No madam. I am in charge now. I am going to kill you today. I bind every spirit of accident in the mighty name of Jesus. I am going to kill him today. Mummy please calm down, the Bible says thou shall not kill. Go ahead, you want to kill me right. Go ahead, go ahead and stab me. Uncle Raymond, you have to leave here now, please. Will you shut up and talk to your bloodthirsty mother? If she doesn't drop that knife in her hand, she will go and join her husband and rot in jail. What is happening here? Mrs. Fernon, what's all this? I am going to kill him today. And what's your business Mr. Stranger? You think I don't know what you have been doing with my brother's wife since he went to prison? You philanderer. Mrs. Fernon, calm down, drop the knife and sit down, God is in charge in the name of Jesus. Okay. Young man, you were deported from China July last year because of fraudulent activities, why? Why are you sweating over another man's properties instead of getting a job of your own? I can help you, you know. Thank you Holy Spirit. Why young man? 
The Lord said just yesterday, you paid a herbalist in the south to do money ritual for you, why? Why would you have such trust in a man who cannot help himself? Young man, you need Jesus in your life. You need Jesus in your life. Simple instructions, I expected him to follow it, but it's just what he wanted to do. Hem, hello darling, look at my lovelies, how are you? Fine, thank you grandma. How are you doing my beautiful granddaughter? I'm fine grandpa. God bless you, come on, what's happening? Don't tell me you're leaving yet, I thought you were going to wait around till around 12 or so. Remember, it's your first time in a long time coming here to visit us. Dad, our flight is 2 p.m., and considering the traffic, we just have to leave now. We're going to miss you, we're going to miss your family, we're going to miss my children, Mabel and Hannah. We'll be back soon to check on you. Yeah, Dad and Mom, we want to really appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking good care of us for the past two days. We're going to miss you very much too. Did you tell your sister you're leaving this morning? No mum, she's been very moody since yesterday so I decided to give her some space. No, not like that. Beatrice, Beatrice come out please. Yes mum. Hannah and Mabel, won't you greet my sister? Good morning auntie. Good morning auntie. Good morning, how are you young darlings? Fine auntie, I want both of you to take good care of yourselves and don't fight. Me, I don't fight, it's Mabel that usually provoke me. Mabel, is that true? Big auntie, don't mind her, she usually steals my egg and meat, that's why. That's not true, when are we going to meet your children so that we can play with them? You ask too many questions, let us go, the driver is waiting outside. Okay, mommy. Beatrice, I don't want you to take things like that, you know that all things work together for good to them that love God, and to them that are the called. Mom, I have heard that over and over again, this is the fourth relationship I am losing, I can't bear it anymore. But I really don't understand, tell me, what really led to the breakup. I am so sorry Beatrice, I cannot continue. Phil, you can't do this to me, everyone knows about our relationship and they are happy for us. Everyone is happy for us except me, because you have refused to make me happy. How can you say such a thing? What do you want that I am not giving? What am I not doing right? I have made my point very clear without any form of ambiguity. I cannot marry a lady that I have not tested, simple. Phil, we are children of God. And you know that sex before marriage is a sin, we both have vowed that this would not happen until we're married. What has come over you Phil? I should be asking you that question, what has come over you? Answer me, I see nothing wrong in expressing love to a lady I want to get married to. It's not about what you see, it's about the standard of the word of God, the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord, Phil. Our bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit, and our marriage bed must not be defiled. Enough. I've heard enough Beatrice. I think it is better for you to go and marry the Bible. Three Bible quotations in one sentence. Why? Do you want to kill me? I can no longer continue. I'm tired of all this back and forth. Beatrice, why are you so unromantic and callous? Phil, I am not. All I am saying is that we should obey the word of God as children of God. That is what I am saying. You know what? I'm done. It is over in this relationship. Thanks for wasting my precious time, a relationship of over six months. No sex, no smooching, not even a little kiss, who does that in this age and time? Miss Beatrice Stone Body. Honestly, I regret ever meeting you, have a nice day. So, that's why you're actually crying. Dad. I will be 42 next year, Philp was my last hope, Philp was my ideal man. What's even the big deal in having sex before marriage anyway? Beatrice, the big deal is God, the word of God, the big deal is about your destiny, Beatrice, see it this way. Philp is asking you to do what God says you should not do, who will you obey? God or Philp? I will obey Philp and get married to him. What? Beatrice, God have mercy, God show mercy. God, have mercy on your daughter. The thief was told to run and he did so. He was told to release the stolen goods and he did. 
Yet you're holding fast to him so he doesn't get away. Leader Nathaniel, why do you want Fernon dead, if I may ask? I think we have humiliated him enough. Where there is life, there is hope. He has too much information about our secret. He knows our operations in the underworld. A man that could call for a press conference that he stole public funds is capable of collapsing this party if care is not taken. And if we don't silence him, he will silence P4, and that will not happen under my watch. Leader Nathaniel, you're right, I agree with your submission and I'm quite sure all of us understands your concerns. He has to be silenced, but my worry is the governorship candidate of that opposition party. There is no way we're going to silence him without people knowing that we are the one. Or what do you think? Leave that one to me Paul, you should know how our people behave in this country, they can only shout for a while. And once we create another distraction, they will forget about him, it is a must that we win this election, if we don't, the party will be dead. In the next four years as opposition party, and a lot is at stake. Every opposition on our way, our leader will crush them. Whoever says we won't reach our destination, our leader will crush them. Beatrice, it is not possible to do the wrong thing in a right way, if Philp wants to go because you refused him sex, then let him go. What if I don't want him to go? What if I don't want to leave the relationship? This relationship means so much to me, Philp is my life, can't you get that? I can't get it, what I know is, Jesus is everything to you, Jesus is your life, I mean Jesus is our life, I'm afraid. You have replaced Jesus with Philp in your heart, Beatrice, what has happened to you? Nothing has happened to me, all I know is I must get married this year, I'm tired and fed up of waiting. You're becoming overly desperate, and when you become desperate mistakes are inevitable. It is better to remain single for life than to marry wrongly. I will never marry wrongly in Jesus' name, Philp is the will of God for my life. Beatrice, when your will of God is leading you against the will of God, it's time to let go. What do you mean by that? 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 3, For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication. God is merciful, he can always forgive even when we sin against him. Really? Beatrice, I was 37 last month, yes, I know you're older than me, but I've resolved, I've resolved to remain single for the rest of my life. Instead of marrying against the will of God, both of us have been praying together for about six years now concerning our husbands. And God promised us that they're coming, please let's wait on God. Can't you see that Philp is the fulfillment of what God told us? And I cannot watch him go, it can never happen. Even when he is leading you to sin against God. What are you saying? Honestly, with due respect, I think you're becoming unnecessarily jealous of the progress I'm making in my relationship with Philip. Just because you're not engaged, wait until you are 42 then you will understand the pain and the frustration I'm going through. Beatrice, how can you say such a thing? But it's the truth, and honestly, I'm afraid I can no longer continue with a prayer partnership that is heading nowhere. I detest envy and jealousy with passion, I am done, and by the grace of God, expect my wedding invitation soon. Beatrice darling, I do not want desperation to drive you to do the unthinkable, something that is at variance with your belief. I want you to be encouraged by the word of God in Hebrews 6 verse 12, that says we should not be slothful, but with faith and patience, follow those who have inherited the promises. Okay thank you mom, can I go to my room now? No, I went to town and got these books for you, they will help you through these difficult times, I know you would love to read them, it's so easy to read. Please mom, no, thank you, I don't want. Why? I know the man, is he not the same man that played leader in a drama that we watched together, I follow him on Facebook and on Instagram. I also subscribe to his YouTube channel, I don't know, I don't understand why the man is always talking about holiness and purity. Mommy, life is not that hard. Beatrice. Mum please, can I go to my room? I'm tired and I need some rest. Can I get a room? Okay. Hold on, let me get a room. Today, one of you will become the governorship candidate of this great party, P4. Stretch forth your left hand towards me and hold it. I have a pearl in my hands, when it appears to you, you are the chosen one. A dog never stops barking, a he-goat never loses its stench, a rat has keen eyes, 
The cat's eyes are as piercing as a needle. Now, open. I got the pearl. Congratulations Honorable Lee, you are the next governor of this state. You will win the primaries of our party and the election. Now get ready for the three levels of ritual to seal up your victory. Anyone who says you won't get there. Our leader will crush them. Babe, it's time for you to take a shower and come out so that we can start. I'm thinking we could pray before we start. Are you joking right now? Since we are children of God, it's important for us to pray before we do anything. Babe, I can assure you, no one prays before doing this, okay. We can only pray for forgiveness after we finish, I know you are shy. Whoever looks for trouble will find it, with all I gave Nathaniel, he still gave the ticket to Lee, I will not take this, I will not take it. It is my turn to lead our great party, he promised me last year, I've paid my dues, Christabel. I know you've paid your dues, but I would still advise that you see him personally to discuss this, because we cannot tell what really happened, so just calm down, okay. Benson, sir, this is an August visit talk, you know I should be resting, what is so urgent that you insisted that we need to discuss? Sit down. Don't be angry with me. One wouldn't get upset without hearing something saddening. I'm not happy at all. You are not happy. Why are you unhappy? What's the matter? Why did you deprive me of the entitlement? Why are you hurting me? Why did you give my meat to the dog? Go straight to the point. I have no time for riddles. I need to rest because tomorrow is going to be a long day. Leader Nathaniel, with due respect sir, you promised me the ticket when Fernon was arrested, I gave you not less than $700,000, and yet you gave the ticket to Lee. One invests because of future returns, this is not fair. What if I say that Lee gave me more than what you gave? So the ticket is for the highest bidder. Benson, why are you talking as if you don't know? Do you want me to return your money? No, that's not what I'm saying, it's just not fair. The world itself is not fair and that is why people like us can control a great nation like this, anyway, Lee and I have a deal. And what is the deal? He goes for the first term while you run the second term. What if he changes his mind and he insists on taking the second term? Abomination. If he tries it he'll pay dearly for it, if he tries it he'll suffer the consequences, anyone who tries it will bear the brunt. He dares not, and if he tries it, we bring him down. That sounds good. Benson, calm down, four years will soon be over then it will be your turn, let's say your $700,000 is an investment. But at the same time, be ready to do more. Can you remember that I told you about prayers on your first day in Fernon House? Yes, I do, you said God does nothing except in answer to prayers. And 300,000 people have died directly or indirectly because of his greed and love for money. Yet your friend is never tired of stealing. This is a very serious matter. Many of the people who have suffered from his wickedness have laid curses on him in their pains. Those curses are speaking and raging, the covenant he made with Bacalon is also speaking. Bacalon, Jesus have mercy, Lord let your mercy prevail over judgment. Steve, your prayers is the only fuel that will move the vehicle of mercy to Fernon, remember, God does nothing except in answer to prayers. Good and the church has underrated the power and potency in effectual fervent prayers of the righteous. Really, I don't understand. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. Yes, that's 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14. You are right, now when I said that the gate of hell shall not prevail over my church in Matthew 16 verse 18. What's your understanding of it? Well, I think that means that the gate of hell will not overcome the church. More than that, the church should be on the move taking over territories, or have you seen a moving gate before? No, I haven't. A gate does not move, it is the church that must move to the unmoving gate of hell and command it to lift up its head and release the souls of men that have been held in captivity. Wow, that's serious. Whenever a child of God forget that he is called to war, he behaves himself like the heathen whose desire is earthly bound. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affair of this world, but seeks to please him who has called him to be a soldier, 2 Timothy 2 verse 4. So, what exactly do you want me to do? Raise a prayer army for me, there is a gang up against the Church of Christ, your rank has been invaded by those who are masquerading themselves as children of light. But they are working for the devil, the battle for the soul of your nation has started and it is now, it is time to wake up from your slumber and sleep and fight with the armor of righteousness on your right and left hand. Lee, 
You have three convenant to make with us, three convenant, three vows, three oaths, three bonds, three pacts, Lee, the first convenant is an oath of marriage, you will have a secret marriage to Saraya, the second convenant, is an oath of a stony heart, a hardened heart. The third convenant, is an oath of a mystical journey, you'll have a meeting with the three witches on the way to the south. The wicked ones who eat the bile from the intestines, that's it, Lee. Yes master. You must never pull out of this, you must never put your hand on the plow and look back, you must never renegade on our agreement. You must never break our pact, you must never go back on this covenant, the deal is final, this pact is real, you're within or out, the deal is sealed. Can we just pray and ask God for forgiveness now? I feel so drained and unfulfilled. Beatrice, you never told me you were not a virgin. What do you mean? Didn't I mention to you that I was raped when I was in primary school? The fact still remains that I did not meet you as a virgin. Philp, what are you driving at? What I am driving at is that I, Philp, cannot marry a sister who is not a virgin, so tell me Sister Beatrice, what is it that you do not understand? So what happens to 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17? If any man is in Christ, he is a new creature, old things have passed away and all things have become new. My past has already passed away, I am now a brand new creature in Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you are truly a brand new creature in Jesus Christ and old things are passed away, what are you doing with a man in a hotel room? Tell me, how do you expect me to trust you? And believe that I'm the only one doing this with you. You are mad. You slapped me Beatrice. And I will slap you again and again, you madman son of Belial. You slapped me and called me a madman, son of Belial, if I descend on you, I promise I will kill you, but I won't do that, because old things have passed away. See, it takes an insane woman like you to sleep with a madman like me. Look at who is calling me a son of Belial, are you not a daughter of Delilah? I'm so ashamed of you, now listen, this relationship is officially over and I want you to know that I have a video recording of everything that we did together, here, today. Have a good day, new creature prostitute. O Lord have mercy, have mercy O Lord on my daughter, she will not marry wrongly in the name of Jesus. She has waited this long, O God, hold her hands in her hour of need, O God, meet her in this temptation. My daughter will not fall, she will not give in to the evil one, this temptation will pass over her in the name of Jesus. You have done it before, you have rescued people, you spoke, O God, even to the waters and it ceased from raging. Almighty God speak to the storm in my daughter's life, let it calm, I ask for mercy in the name of Jesus, mercy, O God, she will not marry wrongly. The devil will not become her father-in-law in the name of Jesus, she will maintain her stand as a Christian, and your name alone shall be glorified in Jesus' name. We move to the wedding venue in five minutes. Leader, sir, please I have a question to ask. Go ahead, Mr. Governor. Mr. Governor. Yeah, you're as good as one, the election is just a formality, go ahead and ask your questions, our governor. My question is, would it not be right for me to meet the one I want to get married to before we get married? Abomination, you don't get to see her, you can only see her face after the wedding, that is the rule. But I can assure you, Soraya is a beautiful lady, you will love her. Still wondering how I will tell my wife that I have a second wife, and I still don't know how to solve the issue of who is going to be the first lady. First lady, Soraya will not be your second wife. What do you mean sir? Young man, you asked too many questions, it's time to go. There is an issue going that needs clarity, yes. It is a riddle that needs interpretation. We all need to be on the same page before we move on. Seven of you left the house. Why are only six of you here? Where is John? He's a traitor and he's gotten what he deserves. You mean John is dead? What happened? He was like the bat with the head of a rat. He betrayed us and deserved to die. John is a traitor and he's gotten what he deserves. Fiona, let's begin the ceremony. What a beautiful couple, you see, I promise you a palatial hotel at the Marina World Under the Sea for your honeymoon. Soraya, the mystic being with many husbands, kudos to you, I'm very sure you'll enjoy your latest husband, Lee. 
I believe you know the taboos of this marriage you're entering into. You mustn't look at her face. Yes, leader Nathaniel. Bring your hand, I will cut your hand a bit and get some blood. Ah, Soraya, here is your honey, drink it. Soraya, the woman with numerous husbands, you've got one more today, Soraya, you make people lose their minds. Soraya the troublesome being who scatter everywhere, the jealous one who terrorizes the housewife, Soraya, this is your new husband, no one weds you, you are the one that weds husbands. Today, you both have become one, one in flesh and blood, one soul, one destiny. Lee, no going back, you've just made an unbreakable covenant today, a covenant of blood, let it be so. By the authority conferred on me, I Bacalon, the valiant and fearless one, the one who takes over the house from its owner. The prince of the world, the son of the morning, I declare you as wife and husband, Lee, the final phrase of the ritual shall take place in your bedroom this week. Lee, now you can turn around, in this kingdom, the bride kisses the groom. Soraya the mystic being with many husbands, now you may kiss your groom. Soraya. Who is Soraya? Where did you hear that? But that's the name you shouted as you suddenly woke up. It's a dream. I was having a terrifying dream. It's okay. Calm down. Just sleep. At this juncture, it is only Lee and I that will go inside. You will remain here. The tree witch is on this path. We are here. You, the gods of the land. The black witch. The red witch. And the white witch. You turn night to day and vice versa. We are here. It is a mother that saves her child. This is your sacrifice. I brought for you. Renew our strength and let things go smoothly for us. Greetings to you all. It is Lee who needs your help. He said he wants to have a landslide victory. He's ready to pay the price to get the prize. He said he is ready to give you your food every month without failure. Here is our next governor. He has come to pay obeisance to you. The three witches of this path, here is your sacrifice. Lee, now look into our eyes. We are murderous and merciless. You have come to the point of no return. You have crossed the Rubicon and there is no turning back. It's forbidden. It's prohibited to turn back or you'll be torn into pieces. We are the one in charge of political appointments and affairs of the state. Our words are law. Our wishes are decrees. We are the three horrible territorial witches in charge of this entire state. Whatever we wish becomes the wish of the person we wish to appoint because we are the witches. Now, take and eat. Now take and drink. Take and rinse your face with it. Today, you've made a covenant with us of a stony heart. Your heart has now become a stone. You listen to no one except us. Do not take any decision without our approval. There are 15 major roads in the state that you must never repair or touch. That is where we get our blood, through accident. Nathaniel, will give you the list of the roads. And you have to renew your allegiance to us monthly with the blood of three babies that have not been weaned by their mothers, do you understand? You must never speak the truth, and anywhere the truth is being said you must fight against it with the last drop of your blood. The truth is not a thing, it is a person, his followers call him the way, the truth and the life, when you speak the truth you promote his kingdom and his kingdom is at war with our kingdom. Remember, you'll keep telling lies to your people, lies strengthen the covenant and wickedness that gives you the promotion. The Iroko tree always stands out in the forest, the palace always stands tall in a congested market, the fish swims with its head. Whereas Odd is the lord under the water. Lee, you have eaten the heart of a man, your heart has died this day. You have drunk a man's blood, your heart has become hardened. You have rinsed your face with the tear of the people, you are now merciless, your eyes are now out for wickedness alone. It's a sealed, don't forget your vows, we are the merciless witches, remember we do not show mercy. Bacalon, the valiant one, juggernaut, tormentor. Bacalon, the fearless one. Bacalon, the unassailable one, we have delivered the message you sent us. 
You three witches on this path, kudos for a job well done. I bring greetings from the prince of this world. He knows the value of your work. <laughs> He's aware of your importance. That's why I came from my palace to deliver his kingly message. Well done. Kudos to you for your preparation for the great task ahead on those who will go down this road. Fernon will be released tomorrow, and he has to be killed on his way home. Really? I like that man though. He's given me a lot of money in the past, many times. Such is life, a good man can be a bad politician. True talk. He's not a good political player, he has too much information about P4 and he has to be silenced. My only question is, how we're going to do this, because I'm presently desperate for blood. I too, it's my food. Ken has arranged for a vehicle to pick him up. Nice one, you're good. The driver has been detailed on where to pass, he doesn't even know that he would be released yet. Everything has been coded to cover the track. Nice one, that's good. No mistakes, Ken, you'll take the shot, one bullet in his skull. Yes boss, you know I'm not new at this, I've got experience, one bullet between the eyes, you know I never waste bullets, we've got this. What about Honorable Fred? I beg you in the name of God. Please release my wife and my daughter, that is my only daughter. Just name your price, I will pay any amount. We don't need any ransom, don't you get it? We need something more than ransom. What do you want? The election, your mandate. I don't understand. We all know that you are a good man and you will win this election, but listen to me, we don't need good men in any political office in this country. Who are you? Shut up and listen to me, you're going to call a press conference and announce to the whole state that you're stepping down. Tell them you're no longer interested, it's an order. That will be difficult, sir. Your husband said his political ambition is more important than your life and the life of your daughter, maybe you should hear him yourself. Daddy. Mr. Honorable, you have 30 minutes to do this press conference, otherwise you will see the pictures of the dead body of your wife and your daughter all over the internet. I swear to you. Hello, hello. Soraya, the woman with many husbands, Lee is now your new husband, you now have him all for yourself. What are the terms? The usual, no more exemption, they're all equal, except the one that stands out and there's no more outstanding one. Fernon that got an exemption for his wife to live messed up and betrayed us. For how long should I allow Lee's wife to live? At your discretion, Soraya. At your word Bacalon, the fearless and valiant, the unassailable. Honorable Fred withdraw from governorship race. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I wish to bring to your notice and to the notice of the entire state, that I, Honorable Fred Williams willingly withdraw from the governorship race. Due to personal reasons that I do not wish to disclose, I'm sorry if this come as a shock, especially to all my supporters in RPP. Republic People's Party across the state, thank you for your understanding and love always. God bless our state. And may God bless the Federal Republic. Good boy, one down, and one more to go. Why are you this heartless, Philp? This is the fourth time you're asking me to meet you in a hotel. Is it too much to ask? What happened with you? The first time was a mistake and now you're blackmailing me because you have the video of what happened with you the first time. Forget the story baby girl and meet up with me tomorrow evening at the hotel. I'll send the address to you, you know the time already. But when is this going to end? You're draining me, you're killing me. I don't care. See you tomorrow, sweetheart. What is going on, Beatrice? Darling, my dear, no. Lee, sorry about what happened, but at the same time, I need to congratulate you for successfully going through the last stage of the ritual to become the governor. I don't understand. What is it you don't understand? You mean, you knew my wife was going to die. I actually thought she would die before now, so I really gave you time, a lot of time. 
Leader Nathaniel, what are you talking about? Have you forgotten what Bacalon told you during your secret wedding with Soraya? The last phase of the ritual shall take place in your bedroom this week. Oh my god, Lee, leave God out of this matter and face your reality, you have to get married to another wife before our party primaries, no time, you don't have a choice. I feel something is dying in me. Everything is dead in you Lee, old things must pass away, this is the new you. A man with the heart of stone, the executive governor of our state. When you put your focus on the price, the price becomes irrelevant, money can get you some things, but power gives you everything, I mean everything. So where do we get a wife now? Why did it take you so long to come? That's none of your business, baby girl, why are you still fully clothed? Undress and let's get down to work, no time. Why are you looking at me like that? Do you want me to force you? Philp, who are you? I'll show you who I am. Philp is a fraudster who duped my mum of $680,000 last two years. He later ran to Cairo in Egypt but was deported because of a similar crime. Comfort. Why are you this wicked, heartless and callous? You masqueraded yourself as a believer, you slept with my best friend, got it recorded and started using that to blackmail her. So you can keep sleeping with her, you're a demon. I didn't record anything. I swear I promise I didn't record anything. I only said so, so that I could always have my way with her. I promise you, I didn't record anything, God is my witness. Which God are you calling? See, if I slap you, you will see stars, damn thief. I'm sorry ma'am. Officer Marcus, are you still at the reception? Good, please meet me at that room, yes, Philp is here. Please, comfort, please. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, he maketh me to lie in green pastures, he leadeth me beside still waters, he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death. I fear no evil. Come out. I was asked to pick you up. Okay, thank you young man, what's your name? Kuwait sir, congratulations on your release sir. Kuwait, is that not a name of a country? Honestly sir, I don't know what my dad was thinking when he gave me that name. The car has moved, I just received the signal from Kuwait now, Ken are you ready? Yes boss, one bullet in between his two eyes. That's a nice of Chief Nathaniel, please can I talk to him on your phone? You won't be able to sir. I just want to thank him for his kind gesture. That, he is in a meeting sir, he will not be able to pick any of your calls sir. Can I talk to my wife then? He wants to talk to his wife. I wonder how Kuwait will handle that without him suspecting anything. Fernon is a big player. That will not be possible. Why? I, I was on call with Chief Nathaniel, and my credit got used up. Sharp guy, you're good. Kuwait is crazy good. Kuwait is a crazy person. Guys, to be here in 10 minutes. We're gonna take another prayer point now, we're taking it from the scriptures, Isaiah 49, 26, it says. I will make your oppressors eat their own flesh, they will be drunk on their own blood, as with wine. Then all mankind will know that I, the L-O-R-D, I am your Savior, your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Turn it into prayers now. I smell a game, how did I fall for this? Should I order him to stop? No, it's too late now. It's too late, oh God, Lord Jesus, please save me, please save me Lord, please. Young man, who are you? Honorable Fernon, I think you're asking too many questions. Chief Nathaniel sent me to pick you, one should only fear one's master. Virus, can you see your target very clearly? Sir, yes sir. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. Gone. You are such a big disappointment, how can Fernon escape from your shot? Boss, I gave the order sir, Ken shot on target, he has never missed a target before. Can you hear, can you hear the nonsense you are vomiting from your stinking mouth? And you know this is a high profile assassination. You should have fired the shot yourself. I'm still in confusion sir, I, I can't explain what really happened, when we got to the car, we could not find him, we met Kuwait dead with a bullet wound on his head. 
Boss. Don, are you sure this operation was not compromised? None that I know, boss. None that I know. Then you must prove to me by going back to Fernon House and pump bullets into the head of his wife and two children. You must wipe out that family. It is an order. Sir. Yes, sir. Don, listen attentively. You don't dare me. You know that Nathaniel is like velvet beans. I can itch one to death. The fact that the lion can be slow does not mean it's afraid. Get ready to die if any of them escapes. No mistakes. No mistakes. You have been warned. Yes, boss. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we prayed. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I feel it very strongly and strangely in my spirit that we must leave this place in this place in the next few minutes. We must leave here. Is that so? Yes, Mrs. Fernon. In fact, we should leave here now. There's an urgency in my spirit, man. Please move now, Mrs. Fernon. Get the international passports of everybody and we're leaving here now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please, hold on, I forgot my phone. I will get another one for you. We are still close to the house, I will get it now. Where is this boy? Should I go and call him? No, Patty call his number. Okay, sir. But there is no one at home. Is he not seeing me? Hello Kelly, there's nobody in the house. But I promise you I will find them, I will wipe them out, it is a promise, I know my life hangs on this. Good afternoon, please is there anybody in the house? Do I look like the gateman to you? I'm very sorry, who are you? I am a preacher, I have come to preach to Honorable Fernand. Please to meet you. And I am a killer, I came to kill Honorable Fernand and his entire family. Sir, can I ask you something? Say whatever you want to say in 30 seconds. If it is offensive, I will shoot you. Sir, he that kills by the sword will surely die by the sword, why don't you repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? What should it professor? Yeah, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What is it? Why are you running and sweating and panting? There is a man in the house with a gun. A man? Yes, I saw him with a gun, let's go, let's move. That's him coming. You still haven't told me how I escaped the gunshot. I know I heard a gunshot, but after that I can't say this is what happened. Next thing I know, I'm here by your side. I have told you severally not to bother yourself. There are some mysteries that you don't have to know. Then how did I get to this place? There was a blackout and after the blackout I just saw myself walking beside you on the road. Let's just say I was sent to protect you, but Fernon let's leave that for now. Your wife and children are on their way here. They're coming to pick you up. My wife and my children. Yes, you leave for the capital city this night and Brazil by weekend. You'll be back by the time those who seek your life will be dead. You speak in mystery. Fernon, I have this small phone we can use to call your wife so that you can tell them where to pick you up from. Thank you, I've been looking for a way to talk to my wife and my children, thank you very much. What kind of number is this? What is it showing? Capital, God. Really? That's hilarious, how can God be calling you? Maybe it's all these fraudsters, or maybe an app on your phone is bringing it out that way. But I don't have such app on this phone. Mummy, don't pick it. Mummy, as for me, I want to receive a call from God, give me the phone. God hello, daddy. I just saw a man, he is the one that gave me his phone, when I was trying to call you, he disappeared, I can't find him anymore. Wow. Honey, let us go to the car, we will discuss on the way. No, tell me in one minute the reason why I should not kill all of you, tell me why I should not waste you all. Boss, you picked me up from the street when I was just 12, and I've been working for you since then, you send me to do the dirty jobs, my boys and I. We got rid of your enemies and political opponents at your command, this is the first time in 22 years that I have failed you, and you want to kill me. Just like that, Nathaniel, this is unfair boss. You don't address a general in that manner, I am Nathaniel, I will crush anyone who confronts me. You have provoked me, you've kicked the hornet's nest and you're going to be stung, I warned you boy. You released information to Fernon and you helped him escape, now tell me, how much did he pay you? How much? 
At twelve, I made an oath with you to never betray you, till this very moment I have not, but you chose to believe otherwise, I sacrificed my life and my dreams for your comfort and pleasure. All your children are studying abroad, but you have refused to even let me get married, what kind of a leader are you? But you know the rules of this job, you have access to many girls but you cannot get married for security reasons, you know that, don't you? I remember the Bible story my mother used to tell me as a little kid before she passed, she used to sing a beautiful song, Jesus the way, the truth and the life. Whosoever cometh to him shall never die, Jesus if truly you are there and real, save my soul today, my soul. Now, let's see whether that Jesus will save you today. Nathaniel, I do not fear death, because I have seen death severally, I can't count how many I have killed for you, I've always known that he that kills by the sword will die by the sword. I know this day would eventually come, so I'm not afraid to die, I'm only afraid of eternal death in hell. Keep your mouth shut, you talk too much, meet you in hell. Keep your mouth shut, you talk too much, meet you in hell. I will shot you. If you attempt it the third time, the bullet will land in your head and you will drop dead in the name of Jesus. Comfort, you don't know how desperate I am to get this job. Yeah, I heard the company belongs to one of the big politicians in town, right? And what has that got to do with what I'm telling you? All I know is I'm already at the last stage of the interview and two of us were shortlisted to come for the final interview tomorrow. Please pray along with me to get this job. Well I'm going to pray our usual prayers, any offer that is not from God will be frustrated in Jesus' name. Honestly comfort. I think I'm beginning to get uncomfortable with this kind of prayer, this is the same prayer we've been praying for many years. Till today both of us have not been able to get married, is it a crime to be a Christian? See, let's take this thing easy on ourselves. Okay, so how do you want us to pray the prayers then? Psalm 37 verse 4, delight yourself in the Lord and he will grant your heart desires, this is one of my heart desires and God must give it to me. So. We're going to pray and tell God, regardless, no matter what I will be the favored one, and God will help me to get this job, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you will get me this job, no matter the situation, no matter what, the job is mine. The job is mine in the name of Jesus Christ, no matter the situation, I get this job, the job is mine in the name of Jesus. Comfort pray. I pulled the trigger twice on two separate occasions, the bullets didn't hit him, what kind of bulletproof mechanism is that? What is Don using against me? Me Nathaniel. Nathaniel, the lighting that strikes down all his enemies, Nathaniel the head of all politicians, now let me tell you what you don't know, there are mysteries and there are deep mysteries. We have the mysteries but the people of the way have the deep mysteries. People of the way? Yes, people of the way. They came for the children of Fernon and they were saved, they came for Fernon and he was protected. And now, they have come for Don, they snatched Don from us, very wicked set of people, they interfere in matters that they know nothing about. Using the power of deep mysteries to their advantage, selfish people. This is getting interesting. Interesting, it is the battle of the kingdoms, two kingdoms are now at war, they're against us and we against them. But I battle on the fearless and valiant one can assure you that we will overcome them. In our kingdom, we have both registered and unregistered members, they only have registered members, we have more, we are many. Registered and unregistered members, tell me more battle on. Nathaniel, our own registered members are people like you, people like you who have consciously pledged allegiance to us. And our unregistered members are some people, who have rejected the way, Rejecting the way translates into accepting what we stand for without enjoying the full benefit like the registered members. Then, you become a tool we can use anytime we do desire. Then, I need to unravel and investigate people of the way so as to bring them down. Don't try it, Nathaniel this isn't something to toy with. If you go beyond your boundaries you'll be hacked down, this is about your pay grade. Nathaniel, do not cross your boundary. We are working on a model to bring them down, you will get to know when we are ready to wage a full and total war against them. It is a global conspiracy, Nathaniel, for now focus on your assignment. And, what is the next assignment? Your next assignment is to get a wife for Lee, and to win the election at all costs. 
Don't be surprised that I asked them to bring you to this small place, this is actually where I come to when I want to meditate and stay secluded to have inspiration. I see that you have a very impressive CV here, and indeed, you are the most qualified for this job, but I'm afraid, we may not be able to offer you this position. But why sir, since you said that I'm the most qualified, please sir, I will give it my very best and add value to this company. Can I ask you a question? Yes sir. Are you married? No sir. That's the problem. Why is it a problem sir? When are you getting married? Sir, this is becoming embarrassing, I only came here to get a job, why all these questions sir? Because it is related to the position you're asking for, so it will do you well to answer my questions no matter how they may seem irrelevant to you. When are you getting married Miss Beatrice? Soon sir. How soon? Is there a man in your life? No, not at the moment sir, but God will do it soon. Miss Beatrice Richard, can I make you an offer? Go ahead sir. I lost my wife five years ago. Oh, I'm sorry about that sir. Honestly, I did not want to get married, if not for my family and friends that insist that I need a woman in my life. So, I have been searching for a beautiful, intelligent, God-fearing and confident lady to marry, Beatrice, you have the qualities of the wife of my dream. I am Lee Chris, the governorship candidate of P4, and by the grace of God, the next governor of this state, people that know me knows that I don't play with words. I say what I mean and I mean what I say, I'm not looking for a side chick, I want to get married in the next one month. Sir, this is overwhelming right now, I don't even know how to respond or what to say to it, sir, is this a proposal? Yes it is, it's a proposal, my proposal to you, you have what I want and I have what you need. What a classic definition of a miracle. Your letter of employment is already in my office, but this is subject to your acceptance of my offer, if you accept to marry me, you will not just be a staff here. You'll be a shareholder in my conglomerate and other chains of businesses within and outside the country. I mean, okay sir, can I? Miss Beatrice, feel free to ask any questions, feel free, ask what is in your heart. Sir, are you a Christian? In this age and time. It does not make sense not to be a Christian, I'm not just a Christian, but I'm a God-fearing one, by the grace of God. I single-handedly built six cathedrals for six different pastors in this state, that's what I love to do, do you have another question? Sir, can I at least pray about it? Sure you can, why not? I want you to understand the urgency, I need a reply within one week, if not I will be forced to give the offer to the lady I interviewed before you. Sir, you don't have to do that. I will get back to you before the end of the week sir. Beatrice, we have a great future together, I can't wait to see you become the mother of my children, and the first lady of this state. Kindly drop your account number with my PA, so that I will be able to transfer $25,000 to you for your transportation. I have detailed my driver to drop you off, he's waiting for you, have a good day. Wow, very impressive, he's brilliant and crafty, great combination. Absolutely. No woman can resist such an offer. She has been extremely overwhelmed by the juicy offer. Getting a soul from the people of the way is a great addition to our kingdom, I'm just thinking of how to afflict her with shame and excruciating pain, such that she will never recover from. I am the woman of the house, the main wife, I have enough sorrow to afflict this incoming wife with. Different kinds of slaps in the middle of the night, like the smack, the whack, the slog, the strike, the clout, the cuff, the the buffet, the dizzying smack and the hot clobber. <laughs> well done Soraya, they always find it difficult to resist money, fame and pleasure, same strategy that we have used for hundreds of years, and it has always been working, because they never learn. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Beatrice my dear, welcome to a life of terror, sorrow and horror, a life of unending pleasurable pain. Yes, a life of confusion and misery, sandwiches and sudden death. Why isn't she back yet? Hi, mum, hi dad. Hello Beatrice, how are you? You're welcome. I'm very fine, mum. Now that you are smiling and giggling, how was the interview? Well, before that, I saw you dropping from a jeep, who has that car? Mom. Whose car was that? It's from my office where I went for the interview. Hello, your office. This one that you've not started work, you've started saying your office, we need more information. Mummy, 
It is the best interview I have ever attended. <laughs> really? Yes, Dad. That calls for celebration then. I was expecting the usual, we'll get back to you stuff. God has gone ahead of me. I already have this one. God is good. All the time. I have already delivered my manifesto, sir. Which manifesto are you talking about? No, it is not time for that. We yet approve any manifesto for the P4 as far as I'm concerned. Leader Nathaniel, I am not talking about that, I am talking about the Beatrice Project. Oh, that, Bacalon already detailed me on that, the conversation was graphically captured, Lee, you're a brilliant killer, no girl can resist such an offer. It's not possible. I'm waiting for her response before the end of the week. You are getting it by tomorrow, I can assure you of that, she will not be able to sleep tonight, I bet you, the state of her mind is closely monitored and heavily manipulated. Bacalon is personally involved in this, the stakes are high, Lee. I see. Once she sees those who are telling her the truth as enemies of progress, the rest is simple, her dreams can easily be manipulated by Soraya. And she will see getting married to you as a revelation from God. This is interesting. She's playing out the script excellently, Beatrice is a great actor and I love her already. Comfort, we have invited you here because we do not understand your friend and how she's behaving nowadays. Beatrice, you met a man today and you're already planning how to get married to him, what's the matter with you? What is the matter with you, who doesn't know Lee in this town? That occultic politician. Mum, who are you to judge? The Bible says we should not judge so that we would not be judged, Mummy, have you even met this man? Obviously you haven't, everything you heard about him were things you heard from people, why won't you even give him a chance? Beatrice, I know how it feels, I know you are seeing this as an opportunity because of your age, but you see, you cannot marry the wrong man after having gone this far. You cannot. Beatrice, I think the right thing to do is for us to pray about this matter and let God lead. What is there to pray about? No tell me, what? God has given us brains so that we can give him rest, come on, this is a very simple thing. His former wife is dead, he needs a wife to marry, I am of age, I need a husband to marry, and he has proposed to marry me with a job offer and lots of benefits. So, what exactly is there to pray about? What? Let me remind you of what the Bible says in Proverbs 3 verse 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. I expected that, I expected you to throw biblical jabs at me, my younger sister has been married for many years with children. And I'm here living with my parents, is that what you want for me? I am done with this conversation. I love this level of stubbornness and obstinacy, it is typical of our kingdom, seriously, thinking of recruiting her, she would serve as a very good marine agent. Fiona, but you know there is a vacancy at the Himalayan coven, she will fit into that role perfectly. I can't wait to celebrate her homecoming. Very good child, Beatrice. You are welcome, hope you arrived safely, we've been expecting you. Why am I so restless? Our father, we thank you for your daughter Beatrice. Thank you Jesus. We thank you for her life, father we know and we say it here, we confess it, that she is walking out of purpose and we owe God, make a prayer to you this evening that you will recover her. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, even from the foundation of the world, you have designed her to be your beautiful instrument unto honor, we therefore pray for her that despite all these challenges, she will hold on for you in Jesus' name. We ask Father in heaven that you will recover her in the name of Jesus. Amen, Almighty God, we pray that you will bring the young man that you have made and created for our daughter to come across her in the name of Jesus. Amen, we are declaring over you Beatrice, you will not walk out of God's purpose in marriage, and even from courtship in the name of Jesus. Amen, Father I agree with my husband, because the Bible says if two of us shall agree on earth as touching anything, it shall be done unto us by our Father in heaven. We agree O God that the bone of her bone, the flesh of her flesh, wherever that young man is God, we call him into being in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let their paths cross, let that young man walk towards my daughter and let our daughter walk towards that young man and let it be a glorious ending in the name of Jesus. Beatrice, we recover you, we stop you, even from every step that is contrary to the will of God for your life in the name of Jesus, and here we declare in agreement, God has taken over. Amen. Beatrice, you will not walk into error in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not cause pain for us in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. Thank you, Almighty Father, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Well done, sir. Yes, God. There is a man waiting at the reception to see you, sir. Okay. Let me have the visitor's form with you. Here, sir. What name is this? This surname is not clear. Anyway, let him come in. Thank you, sir. Young man, why are you bowing down? Please have your seat. Let me bow, sir. I have a confession to make. Young man, I insist you sit. Please sit and make your confession. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. You may go ahead with your confession. Sir, do you remember the day you came to preach in Honorable Fernand's house? I've been to Honorable Fernand's house on many occasions. Which particular day are you referring to? That day you were shot. Oh, so you are the one who shot me in the leg. I'm sorry, sir. Please find a space in your heart to forgive me, sir. If you decide that you want to have me arrested, I'm ready to serve the punishment for my sins. Ken, can you really serve the punishment for your sins? Now tell me, what has changed? Man of God, things have been going wrong for me since that day until Jesus showed up in my life. I would have died if not for Jesus. Ever since the day you shot me, I've never ceased to pray for you. God revealed to me that you're going to be a powerful and mighty vessel in his kingdom, so you're welcome dear brother. Please forgive me sir. You have been forgiven before you pulled that trigger. At one point or the other, we all have sinned against God. You don't have an idea of what I used to be before I gave my life to Christ, and Jesus saved me. Man of God, what do I need to do now? You have repented. All you need to do is to give your life to Jesus and accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. I'm ready sir. The Bible says that with the heart, we believe unto righteousness, but with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation, say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus forgive me all my sins, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, forget me for all my sins, have mercy on me. I confess my sins today, and I ask that you forgive me and accept me into your kingdom. I confess my sins today, and I ask that you forgive me and accept me into your kingdom. In Jesus' name I have prayed. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Vince, how far? How are you doing? I'm fine. Good to see you. There's an emergency, a very serious one. Really? What emergency? Henry, when will you get married? Vince, you have come again, is that an emergency? Is it not enough to be an emergency? Oh my god. Henry, we went to school together, we graduated the same year, I've been married for six years and I have three children, three children Henry. Vince, we're not running the same race, God has created us differently, bros, there is no competition in destiny. Henry the first know that, but from what I see, you have personally crafted out marriage from your life because of fear. You know what, you are suffering from a sickness called homophobia. Vince, gomophobia, what does that even mean? Aren't you a doctor? Google it. No, you're the one saying it, you tell me. Oh fine, I will tell you. Homophobia is a fear of commitment or a fear of marriage. It's actually a disorder. Henry you need help. Actually you're right, honestly, I think I am somewhat afraid of marriage, maybe because I saw my dad molest my mum severally while I was growing up. And I'm afraid I may repeat the same thing, Vince, I count any man that abuses his wife for any reason at all a beast in trousers. And I don't want to be one, my mum suffered a horrible domestic violence from my dad till she died. That caused a scar. I understand you. But Henry, you're a new creature in Christ, we both gave our lives to Christ in campus, Henry, you were the fellowship leader for two years. You're one of the finest young men I have met in my life, I see the fruit of the spirit manifesting in your life for real. So you are not in that category of your dad. Guy, please stop flattering me. I'm not flattering you, I mean it, you know that in this kingdom that we belong, we do not assault our wives, we spoil them with love. See, husband material, how many yards? You're lucky, if I had a younger sister, I would quickly match you and her. You are not serious. On a more serious note, what's the way forward? You tell me. Actually, there is this sister in our church that I have received six years ago. I have been praying for her every day since then. I am so convinced that she's my wife. Wow, interesting. What's her name? Have you spoken to her at all? Her name is Beatrice Richard, I have not spoken to her, but actually, I have her pictures here. Okay. I lay my hands daily on that picture praying for her that nobody should marry her before I am ready. See a beautiful speck, wow, see Beauty Pro Max, Henry, what are you waiting for? 
you have prayed, God has spoken to you years ago about her, come on. You're a wicked man of God for keeping a princess of God waiting for six years, Heavenly Father, every spirit of gomophobia, I blind it in your life in Jesus' name. Honestly Vince, I don't know what is wrong with me, I'm just consumed in this work attending to sick people. Oh really, Henry, I guess you're the one that needs attention now, this one is a chronic marriage sickness and God wants to attend to you now, let's pray. Just like that. I don't understand, are you now allergic to prayer? What would we call this one now? You're suffering from prayer phobia. Come on, let's pray. Good afternoon pastor, my dad said you want to see me. What is it that I'm hearing about you and Honorable Lee getting married? Is it correct or a rumor? Pastor, it is not a rumor, by the grace of God we're getting married next month. I don't get it, why didn't you inform me about it? Why didn't you inform the marriage committee about it? Why the haste? Pastor, Psalm 126 verse 1 to 3, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed dreams, and our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. And it was said among the heathen what the Lord has done, the Lord has done great things for them, the Lord has done great things for us, therein we are glad. I was told you met this man just two days ago, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 28, 16, it says, whoever believes will not act hastily. 1 Samuel 21 verse 8, the king's business required haste, Psalm 118, 23, this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Sometimes, the Bible says may not mean, God says, remember the devil also quoted the Bible for Jesus, seems you've made up your mind, I only pray that your wedding ceremony will not be the burial ceremony of your vision. That is not my portion in Jesus' name, the Lord has just chosen to favor me, it is my season, this is prophetic, I am claiming what is rightfully mine by the special grace of God. Well, I'm sorry we may not be able to join you as husband and wife in this church. Pastor, I already knew that would happen, so we've already made an alternative arrangement to get married in court and then no man can stop the miracle of God. Beatrice, what kind of spirit is this? You were not raised this way. Do you mean you still want to go ahead with the wedding without the consent of your parents and the approval of the church? Romans 3 verse 4, Let God be true and every man a liar, and as it is written, for as long as God approves of it, it is fine by me. Father we declare, we're praying that this marriage should happen speedily. Give your son Henry the boldness to speak and to meet Beatrice this year. Lord you can make it this month, let it happen this month, Lord you can make it today, you can make it today, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we prayed. What? What kind of prayer is that? I pray as I'm led. You are now led that, let it happen today, how? Is anything too difficult for God? Oh, you have a problem with it. This is my life. And with all due respect sir, you are my pastor not my God. Sorry Ma, sorry to interrupt you, which Lee are we talking about here? Well, we have only one honorable Lee in this town, the governorship candidate of P4, do you have any other questions, sir? I am Kenneth, they call me Ken, the hitman of Nathaniel, the godfather of the People's Power Political Party, P4, Lee is one of the direct protégés of Nathaniel. And he's the one that nominated him as the governorship candidate of the party. I killed for them for over 20 years of my life before Jesus set me free. They have wasted so many lives and shed a lot of blood. Mom, I'm sure you don't want to know how Lee's former wife died few days ago. I'm sure you don't want to meet Soraya, the one who sucks blood and bathes with it like water. Have you ever heard of Bacalon? Bacalon, the fearless and valiant one, the unassailable one, the fearsome one. That is our overall commander-in-chief, who is about to enroll you if you get married to Lee, you want to embark on a journey of no return, I advise you to buy your coffin before you get married to Lee. Because I am very certain that he will kill you, I'm sorry to be this blunt, but I owe you the truth because I'm a changed man, Lee lives by human sacrifice and can never be tired of shedding blood. We call him LV, do you know what that means? Lee Vampire, P4 is the most dangerous political cult in this country. I've been there. Doctor, there's an emergency, sir. Okay, I am coming now. Vince, I have to go now. I will be back. 
Father, let Henry see Beatrice today, in the name of Jesus. Thank you Jesus. What did you say? There's nothing to worry about, it was just the bad news that she heard that led to a sudden drop in her blood pressure. It now eventually caused decreased blood flow to her brain, it is called anaphylactic shock. But she will come around soon. Where am I, Pastor? What am I doing here? How are you Princess? I am Dr. Henry, and I, you will be fine. You may need to go now, we will observe and monitor her condition, and when we're sure she's ready to be discharged, we will discharge her and let you know. Thank you doctor. You will be fine princess. My name is Beatrice not princess. I know princess, oh Beatrice, I'll be back. Why is he calling me princess? Do I look like someone he knows? Today lord, Henry will meet Beatrice today, Beatrice will meet Henry today. Vince, you won't believe who I just saw now, you won't believe it. Henry? I'm a believer, I will believe you, say it. Beatrice is here. I don't understand. I just spoke to her now, she's in one of the wards, Beatrice is in this hospital. Hold on, which of the Beatrice? Which other one? The same one we've been praying about. Hallelujah. I'm surprised. Let me go and see her. Are you the one that wants to propose to her? Come on sit down. Lord, I am sorry, forgive me of all my sins, I am ready to do your will. No more anxiety, I rest in you, I'm ready to follow your leading, thank you, thank you Lord for your mercy. All to Jesus I surrender, all to him I freely give, I will ever love and trust him, in his presence daily life. The devil has no free gift, he gives one a cap, but collects one's head in return, in my ignorance and desperation for money, power and fame, I signed a path with the devil. And I paid dearly for it, I lost three children in two years, I got what I wanted but there was no peace. Of a truth, it is the blessings of God that maketh rich without adding sorrow. I wish all children of God realize that there is a serious battle for the soul of this nation, and wake up from their slumber. Dear Lord, use me. Let prayer warriors arise, let a new country be birthed in the place of prayer, reveal to your church that God does nothing except in answers to prayer. Frustrate the agenda of evil, all satanic politicians holding this nation in captivity, for personal gain. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them also that hit him flee before him, as a smoke is driven away, so drive them away, as wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad, let them rejoice before God, yea, let them exceedingly rejoice, sing unto God, sing praises to his name, exhort him that rid it upon the heavens by the name, Jah. And rejoice before him, a father of the fatherless and the judge of the widows, God in his holy habitation, God sitteth the solitary in families, he brings out those which are bound with chains. But the rebellion dwell in a dry land. I know that one day you will bring me back to this country to contribute my quota to building the nation, it shall be well with my country. Fernon, you can't leave, a master owns the slave and his properties, I owe you Fernon, this nation cannot be free from our hands, it is a covenant. A convenant of perpetual shedding of blood, but you Don, Don the betrayer, he dared me, me Bacalon, the fearless and valiant one. The most dangerous being, you dared me, you're toying with death, you're playing with venom, Don, you are playing with scorpion, a child attempting to carry a big log of wood will break his neck. Don, you are romancing death, you are ready to dance naked into the market like a madman, you are playing with leprosy and affliction, you disclosed our secret to the world. Don, you that we brought out of obscurity, you have become the butter in the sun, it is a must that you will have to melt, Don has kicked the hornet's nest, Don you are in serious trouble. My princess, today I want to tell you how much I truly and really love you, I am sorry for how it has taken me this long for me to make this proposal to you. I have been responsible for all the pains that you have gone through over the years, he spoke to me about you about six years ago. But fear of the unknown has held me from coming to propose to you, today, I want to publicly apologize and to tell you how sorry I am, princess. I love you so much, find a place in your heart to forgive me, I hope some brothers that will see this proposal video on the internet will stop wasting the time of princesses that are waiting for God in the place of prayers. I love you with all of my heart, Beatrice. You are my princess, God's own beautiful jewel, a virtuous woman to me, a gift from God, honestly, I am just short of words. Let me not forget the most important question I want to ask you today, Princess Beatrice, will you marry me? Yes. 
Beatrice and Henry got married. Today's channel shout out is to Lydia, Marva, Angela, Norma and Joan from Jamaica. Sheila from Cameroon, Salome from Saudi Arabia, Glory from Bahamas, Jillian from St. Vincent, Pulang from Lesotho, Tina, Kathy, Tracy, Sandra Brown, Maggie, Rochelle, Carrie, Tony, Denise, Linda, Thandy, Martha, Henry, Vanessa and Pamela from USA. Lee Blake from Canada, Sulin and Don from Trinidad and Tobago, Bernard from Italy, Anne from Barbados, Ruth from Nigeria, Scholar and Lydia Julius from Kenya, Brenda from Uganda, Zipporah and Kisha from St. Lucia, Tabitha from Zimbabwe, Daphne from UK, Ronica, Leshupi, Majane and Elizabeth from South Africa, Florence, Joseph, Charity, Deborah and Stephen Christian from Zambia, Nelsa from Philadelphia, Sion from Ethiopia, Rita from Bahrain, Tapasia from India, drop your name and where you are watching from in the comment section to get a shout out from this channel. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to be notified when another video is being posted.